Did you know the most common type of visual effects are actually invisible? These are known as invisible VFX and they are in almost every movie. Whether you need to remove a wire, a pesky logo, or even a wandering PA, invisible VFX are imperative to making your world feel seamless and immersive. These effects typically require tedious techniques such as mesh tracking and rotoscoping. My name's OCD, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to leverage AI tools to speed up this workflow. To start off, you're going to need some footage. Only one problem, we need a location. I decided to get lost in the desert until I found something cool. It took a bit of wandering, but eventually I came up on this abandoned car. Once you have your footage sequenced inside of Premiere, we are going to be importing into After Effects. I prefer to use linked compositions, but import as you please, keeping attention on your project settings such as frame rate, color space, and aspect ratio. I'm going to first start off by saving my project to a safe location and following it with a little bit of organization. I like to set up a few folders for my assets, my main comps, as well as my footage, and then I'm going to pre-comp each individual VFX clip to have its own comp to work within. EB synth requires three things to function properly. An exported PNG sequence of your footage, a single frame of your cleaned elements on a transparent alpha channel, and a linear file naming structure. To clean the footage, I decided to utilize the Content Aware Fill tool inside of After Effects. This tool works well with keeping true to the sharpness of a texture rather than being overly soft. For skin, without too harsh of shadows, this technique will work well, but you may have to clean your footage by using the Clone Stamp tool or completely replacing the texture with something new. To use the Content Aware Fill tool, simply subtract the area you would like to fill, set your fill method to object and your lighting correction to strong, click generate fill layer, and just like that you've got a nice clean plate of whatever you were trying to clean out. This doesn't always work, but when it does, it is a lifesaver. I don't know. Once cleaned, I adjust the lighting of my assets to better match my footage, adding shadows on the top of my eyelids and the sides nearest my nose. I add my assets to Media Encoder, where I am going to be exporting them as PNG sequences, making sure to retain the alpha channel and enabling maximum depth as well as render quality. This is in hopes of reducing whatever compression I possibly can. The name of the frame you are cleaning must exactly match the name of the exported frame from the image sequence sequence itself. I drag my clean play elements into the keyframe tab and all of the frames from the image sequence into the video tab. Set your output to the directory location of your choice. Double check that all of your frames are accounted for by making sure your keyframe stop matches your frame duration. For the best results, open the advanced tab. Adjust mapping to 20 or so deflicker to about three, and diversity to a thousand. I don't actually know what these numbers mean, but they work. I also set my synthesis detail to high, click synth, sit back and relax as the AI does all of the painful work. Because that's on efficiency, right? Once finished, I import back into After Effects by enabling import image as sequence and select the first frame. Once imported, I right click on the layer and interpolate the footage. Match the frame rate to the frame rate of your footage and just like that, we have a result that is smooth as butter. This technique can also be used to add elements to your talent rather than cleaning elements out. So let your imagination run free. Let's get it, let's go! As you can see, EB Synth is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but if you keep the faults in mind ahead of time and lean into what the tool does well, you can receive some exceptional results. And if you learned something from this video, please be sure to drop a like down below. It really helps this channel out. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I post new videos every single Thursday. And until next time, be sure to seize the day and keep learning.